Okay, so for HVAC, when we go out to a call, right, more than likely we're going to sell some type of a diagnostic, right? The most common is a TRD. You're going to get used to hearing this term, TRD, and what it stands for is Test, Repair, and Diagnose, all right? Now, what a TRD, the way we know to sell a TRD is during our evaluation, right? So I'll back up. We sit down at the table, we show the customer our book of evidence, we show them the price guide, we leave the club membership page over, open, we go start our evaluation. During our evaluation, we take our static pressure readings, our ORSAT tests, and if it's summertime, we take our superheat and subcool, all right? So with static pressure, that's your air circuit. If your static pressure is past the manufacturer's um, recommendations, that circuit failed. Your air circuit failed, and we should sell a TRD. If your ORSAT test is too high, that's your exhaust circuit. If those numbers are too high, you failed your exhaust circuit, you should sell a TRD. If your superheat and subcool numbers are off, that's your refrigeration circuit. If that fails, you should sell a TRD. So probably about 85 to 90% of calls you go to, one of these three or one or more of these three are going to fail. And you're going to call your sales manager, your call-by-call -call manager, or it'll go through a drip campaign, and they'll tell you to go and propose a TRD to your customer. Okay? That's probably what you're going to do about literally 90% of the time. All right? Now, there could be situations that, let's say you're working on a boiler. So let's say uh, we're on a boiler call. There is no static pressure. We do take an ORSAT, so if that fails, we could possibly sell a TRD. And there's no superheat subcool, right? But you get there for a no heat and it's a boiler. In that case, you're going to probably sell a diagnostic. So remember the four calls we run, a repair call, a callback or a warranty, an install call, and a tune-up, all right? A repair or a callback, every single time you're going to sell a TRD or a diagnostic. Every time. Every time you're on a repair or a callback or a warranty call, so basically something's broken, something's not working, you're going to sell a T or a diagnostic every single time. Now, it is possible that the diagnostic will be waived because it will fall under our, maybe our two-year um, uh, workmanship guarantee. So maybe we installed this system and we sold it to them a year ago and now it failed. You're still going to sell them a diagnostic. We're going to see some role plays on how to do that, okay? So always know. When you're driving to a house and you know that something's broken and you have to fix it, you're going to be selling a TRD or a diagnostic every single time. No exceptions. And you're going to be calling into your call-by-call -call manager or your sales manager or your text message drip campaign within 30 minutes of arrival, and they're going to tell you to go ahead and sell a TRD or a diagnostic. Okay? Those are pretty cut and dry. Now, when we get to installs or tune-ups, field supervisors, um, listen up here because you will also sell a TRD if any of these three fail on a marketed lead. So let's say we go out to a house and they want a price on a new furnace or a new air conditioner. You're going to do the same evaluation as a technician. You're going to take your your static pressure ratings, you're going to take your superheat and subcool, uh, or you might take an ORSAT test depending on the time of year. And if any of those fail, you're going to sell a TRD to the customer. Because here's the thing, do we really want to sell a customer a new furnace or a new air conditioner when we already know the vitals have failed? No, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I want to sell them a three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollar install 
when I know that their airflow system has failed. We need to fix that first. First we fix the airflow, then we talk about equipment, okay? Now, that's for field supervisors. On an install, so that's basically install, on a tune-up, if you're out on a tune-up, technicians, if you fail air circuit or sat, or sorry, static pressure or sat or superheat subcool, again, automatic TRD, every single time. And again, you're going to call this information within 30 minutes of arrival, and whoever you're talking to is going to tell you to do this, so you don't have to necessarily remember every single time you need to do this. After you run calls for a while, you'll get it down pretty quick. But I want you to know that almost every single call we run, we're going to sell some type of a diagnostic. It's either going to be a TRD or a straight up diagnostic. Almost every single time. The only time you will not be proposing one of those is if you're on a tune-up, the static pressure is good, the ORSAT is good, and the superheat subcool is good. That's the only time you might not propose some type of diagnostic or TRD. But that, I'm telling you, is extremely rare. Maybe only 10-15% of the tune-ups you go on, that will happen. So, I just want you to understand that that is the odd, the oddity. That, that, that won't happen very often. You should be very surprised when you run into those types of calls, alright? So, you should basically have it in your mind that you're going to be proposing a diagnostic or a TRD 90 to 95% of the time every time you go to a call, right? So that's that um, for HVAC. You're going to see some role playing of how that comes into play in an upcoming video. One more thing I forgot to mention. You might go out to a call and you propose a TRD and the customer says, no, 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 I just want a price on a new firm. Just give me a new furnace or a new air conditioner. I don't want to deal with this. That's probably one of the bigger objections you'll get. Um, but what we have to understand to the customer is, I can put in a new furnace or a new air conditioner. I can put a new one in every day. It's still not going to be safe. It's not going to be reliable and it's not going to be energy efficient. It just won't. If an air conditioner comes with a 16 sear rating on it and their airflow is running 50% higher than it's supposed to be, that's not a 16 sear air conditioner. That's like a, a, a 14 or maybe a 10 sear air conditioner now. What's the point of selling a customer a 16 sear air conditioner when they're not going to get the efficiency out of it because they don't have enough airflow? So we're doing our customers a disservice by just selling them a new piece of equipment. And just so you know, this is what 99.9% .9 of every other HVAC manu or, uh, company in the area, that's what they do. They don't care if it works. They just want to sell equipment. Well, service today is professional, and we're there to make sure the home is safe, reliable, and energy efficient all the time. So we make sure that we do our due diligence and we don't just say, yep, you know, we'll just sell you a new one because we want to make money and then we'll move on and then in, you know, five, ten years this furnace will be burnt up because the airflow is so horrible the heat exchange, the heat exchange is going to crack early. We're not going to be that kind of company. The problem is every other company in your area is probably like that. That's what makes us different. That's what makes service today the best. And we do this, and we communicate why it's important. So, don't let a customer talk you into just getting a new one and not running a TRD. It's not allowed, and again, it's actually against our company policy. That's not even allowed. 